Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Welcome to today's RTO Superhero Podcast, where we'll be exploring the ins and outs of everything within your RTO and how you can make a real impact in the world of vocational education and training. Hi, I'm your host, Angela Connell Richards. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the importance of partnering with the industry as an RTO and how to conduct effective industry partnerships whilst meeting the requirements of the standards of RTOs, specifically clauses 1.5 and 1.6. Before diving into the requirements and strategies for industry engagement, let's first address why it's essential for RTOs to partner with industry. Industry partnerships are crucial for several reasons. They ensure that your training programs are relevant and up-to-date, reflecting the current needs and expectations of the industry. They help you stay connected to the latest trends and best practices in your sector ensuring that your RTO remains competitive and at the forefront of innovation. They provide valuable networking opportunities, connecting you, your RTO and potential employers with industry leaders and other stakeholders who can support your organisation's growth and success. They enhance the employability of your graduates by ensuring that they acquire the practical skills and knowledge that employers are looking for, making them more attractive candidates in the job market. Lastly, they contribute to the overall credibility and reputation of your RTO, as strong industry connections signal to students and employers that your training programs are aligned with industry standards and expectations. Now that we've established the importance of industry partnerships, let's move on to discussing how RTOs can conduct effective industry partnerships whilst meeting the requirements of clauses 1.5 and 1.6, engaging with industry. To provide training that's relevant to employers and maximises students' opportunities, RTOs must develop a range of strategies to engage with industry stakeholders. So let's discuss some ways to align your industry engagement strategies within the requirements of the clauses. First, establish strong communication channels with industry stakeholders, such as employers and industry associations. This will help you gather information on current methods, technologies, products and performance expectations for the workplace, specified in the training package or within the VET accredited course. Secondly, involve industry experts in the design and review of your training and assessment strategies. This will ensure that your programs are informed by industry insights and reflect real-world workplace expectations. You can involve industry stakeholders in various ways, such as hosting workshops, conducting surveys, or setting up industry advisory boards. Next, regularly review and update your training and assessment resources based on industry feedback. This will help you maintain the relevance and currency of your programs, particularly in areas where technology and techniques change rapidly. 
Make sure to document these updates and demonstrate how they align with industry needs. Another essential aspect is ensuring that your trainers and assessors possess current industry skills and knowledge. Engage with industry stakeholders to confirm their expectations for trainers and assessors and provide professional development opportunities for your staff to stay up to date with industry trends and practices. Finally, monitor the implementation of your industry engagement strategies and practices to ensure that your RTO continues to meet industry needs. Seek industry feedback from stakeholders about your training and assessment methods and resources and use this feedback to continuously improve your programs. While there's no specific method or approach for industry engagement, it's crucial to document your strategies, activities and outcomes. This document will demonstrate the alignment between industry needs and your RTO strategies, resources and practices, which is essential for meeting the requirements of clauses 1.5 and 1.6. You should have a range of strategies under your belt for engaging with industry sectors. And this can be attending conferences, expos or workshops, meeting with industry directly, holding discussion forums, undertaking industry surveys, having your trainers and assessors go out and meet directly with industry. All of these strategies should be documented within your policies and procedures and it should be a process that you are following on a month-to-month -month basis. All of your training and assessment should be informed by industry engagement and how is your training being updated to, to align with industry engagement and what are the needs of the industry sector. Now more than ever, it is really important that we are updating our training and assessment to meet industry needs. Industry has been constantly changing, especially over the last couple of years. And now as a training provider, we need to make sure that we are providing the workforce of the future through our student graduates and making sure that they are meeting the latest current industry needs. Okay, that's all for now in today's episode on conducting effective industry partnerships whilst meeting the requirements of the standards for registered training organisations. By following these strategies, your RTO can ensure the relevance and value of your training and assessment practices, ultimately increasing student success and industry uh, satisfaction. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review on your favourite podcast platform. Join us next time to explore the exciting topic of the top success habits of RTOs. Thank you for listening. I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you for joining us at the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards. Please take a moment to rate and review the podcast on your preferred podcast app. Each rating and review helps me fulfil my goal of helping training organisations around Australia to learn and grow in compliance and business success.